How's it going everyone? Welcome back. Now in this video, of course, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be learning how to export in Audacity. Uh, there's a few ways you can do this, so let's go ahead and get right to it. Uh, first way is by going to File and then Export, or you could use the key command Shift, uh, Shift Command E. Oh, it might be a little bit different if you're on PC, it might be uh, Shift Control E, uh, so either, either one for either system. So let's go ahead and export. Now what we're looking at right here is that this dialogue is going to tell us to, you know, save the project as, uh, that's when it actually bounces out, uh, onto wherever you want to save it. So it could be on a hard drive or a folder or something like that. And this, this case is just going to be my desktop. Uh, so we have the project, uh, saved as what we wanted, or you can name it something. For example, you can name it the name of the song and, um, you know, maybe you could do something like, uh, oops, right. Mix one if this is your first time listening to it. Uh, so you just type in something like mix one and you'll know, you know, if you see the metadata on, let's say the, your car or maybe on your I, iPhone or something like that, as you're listening to it, uh, you'll see that this is your first mix. So that's usually pretty helpful as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and move on to the format. There's a, there's, there's a bunch of different little formats here. I guess the best one to use would be wave or MP3. Now, the reason why you would want to do WAVE is because a WAVE file is going to sound a lot nicer and more systems will actually take it. More players will be able to play a WAVE file, so I actually recommend this. Although it does say Microsoft, you can uh, use a WAVE file in a you know, PC system or a Linux or you know Mac or whatever. Uh, so I would recommend that you use this. If you want to put uh, put this as an mp3 file that's also fine but you'll also notice that there's going to be a drop in quality okay because this one's going to be more compressed this one's not going to be compressed at all so i'm just going to go ahead and select wave and we'll move on and it, there are options now the, the options are for other uh, format files so if i would hit options right now you'll get this dialog right here that says there are no options for this format let's go ahead and hit uh, okay and then save and it's going to save right to our desktop and it says right here, uh, your tracks will be mixed down to two stereo channels in the exported file, which is exactly what we want. And if you want, you can go ahead and get rid of this as well. So you don't have to see that again. Hit OK. And right here is just uh, the metadata. So let's say if you're going to be playing uh, this song, let's say on an MP3 player or something like that, you might be able to see all this information. So. Uh, this might be helpful for you. So let's go ahead and this, I don't know how this comment got there. I'm going to go ahead and delete this and everything else seems, uh, seems fine. So maybe, you know, if you want to, for some reason, put the year, you could do that. That's fine. Genre will put a uh, electronic or something. You know, and filling out most of this is not really too important. It's just, uh, the, the option is nice though. Uh, so now we are ready to go ahead and hit OK, and it's going to, uh, you know, obviously export to wherever you decided to uh, have this export to. Cool. So let's go ahead and minimize this, take a look at the desktop, and see that now the song is right here. You can even hit more info, and you could tell that uh, it's... Uh, 39.9 megabytes on uh, on disk and our, our uh, format right here is uh, shown right here as a waveform and you get all the necessary information that you need. Now there's a second way of exporting and this is actually really handy especially if you plan on mixing this even further on another system or giving this to somebody else for them to mix or remix or something like that. So we're going to go right back up to file and go to export multiple or you can use the key command shift command L. So let's go ahead and hit this. Okay, cool. So uh, right here, it just gives us the types of options of how the exported files will look once they're bounced out. Uh, so, and also what type of format as well. So again, we're going to want to uh, keep it WAV files. Let's, uh, I guess we're working on the pretext of uh, this might go into another system. So you're going to want to keep it as full quality as you can. Where it's going to export to, in this case, I want it to be uh, exported to my desktop. Okay, what we want the project name as. Uh, overriding any existing files, things like that. Uh, if you want it to 
override any existing files, you would have that ticked. If not, you would uh, untick it. I'm gonna keep it ticked. And right here, the file names is actually really, really important as well. Um, so since we're gonna be exporting out multiple files, uh, you could either do it by using uh, the track name, which is gonna be right here, uh, which I recommend and or you know for numbering so it could be track one track two whatever uh so i would just recommend that you keep it up here and then hit export and then what you'll see right here is this dialogue again it's much like the first time when we've seen this but except that it's going to be for each individual track uh, so you might want to um you know rename this just base and then hit okay and then move on to the next one and this is for the the bell melody you'll hit okay, hit okay move on to the next one and so on and so forth until you got all the uh you know the tracks exported out the way that you want it to look and if you were wondering what the the underscore bip stands for that's bounce in place i know some of you guys will probably be wondering well what that stands for so Right now we're just gonna go ahead and delete that because it's just extra information that we, we don't need. And delete that. Oops. Moving on to the next one. And we're almost through, a few more to go. I think three more after this. That's just two more. Hit OK. And what you'll see at the end is all these individual files are going to be on my desktop. Very cool. So right now it's individually bouncing out all these tracks or exporting out all these tracks. They'll end up on my desktop and you'll be able to, you know, mix this further on another program or you can bring this to another friend who's using Audacity and they can use a project, you know, however you intend on using it. Let's go, uh, let's go ahead and look at the desktop and we'll see, actually, let's try it again. And we'll see all the individual files right here. So we have the first one that we did right here. This is with all the songs, uh, the, you know, the entire song as a whole, and then all the individual tracks. And that's how you export in Audacity. Thanks for watching this video. And if you're watching this video and you're not currently enrolled to the Recording Connection, this is only a small taste of what you could be learning in our program. The Recording Connection provides all of our students with industry standard software, like Pro Tools, to take your engineering skills to the next level. We also provide books with excellent lesson plans, a professional studio engineer who will mentor you and show you how to operate real studio equipment, and so much more. With the Recording Connection, getting finance is a breeze. We have many different tuition options, so getting hooked up at a studio near you is fast and easy. For more information, check out www.recordingconnection.com. And of course, I'll catch you guys on the next video.